I took a quick drive uh, around Coffee Pot Boulevard over to Snell Isle to check on a friend's property this morning. So this is the day after Idalia has passed us by. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, seriously, not very much. I didn't see very much damage. You could definitely see where the water levels had come over into the street. The edges of the roads were filled with mud. You can see it really dark right there. And the canal here is at a very high level. But there really isn't that much to speak of going down Coffee Pot Boulevard and over to Snell Isle. I do know that um, Shore Acres, which is like the next division over from Snell Isle, was absolutely... Pfft, I can't even begin to say it was awful. Most majority of houses over there got flooded. There was one house fire. Um, it was very, very sad to see the drone footage yesterday. I'm not going to insert it here because it doesn't belong to me. So I don't want to get into any kind of issues there. But we're plodding along here um, into we're now on Snell Isle where all the man-made canals are. And I'm going into an older area, a single family home, which when we get there, you'll see the water level actually came up two thirds um, up their driveway. And most of the houses in the area, same thing. You can see where the debris from the flooding is. Um, there's a, a clear line across their driveways and across their um, front yard. It could have been worse. It could have been so much worse. But you can see the edge of the roads are brown and dirty and that's the residue left from the um, flooding. And that's the end of our trip out onto Snell Isle. Um, insignificant damage from what I could tell. The roads have got lots of debris on the edges, but that's about it. Thanks for watching.